Today I wanted to learn about Python classes by making a YouTube view bot. I'm going to be doing this in Visual Studio Code. Let's call the file bot.py. This is a bot that watches my YouTube videos. We should provide it with the video name and how long we want it to watch that video for. Our two dependencies are going to be from selenium import web driver and from time import sleep. This is my first time making a python class so I'm just gonna have to do some reading up on python classes. Please forgive me if I do something weird. We're making a bot class that we can pass the name of the video and the time that the bot should watch for. First, we need an init method. The init method runs when we first instantiate the bot. Init should take care of all the setup that the class is going to need. Ours needs to open up a browser. This is the path of the Chrome driver executable. Then we tell the browser to go to my YouTube page. Whoop, forgot the self dot. I don't need these here. I'll take them as an argument for a watch video method later. Then I'll make a video page method that goes to the video page where all of the videos are displayed. Now, Python doesn't have private or public methods. All methods are public and can be accessed from outside the class, but it's convention to do a double underscore in front of the method name on methods that are intended to be private. I'm just gonna use find element by xpath to find the button that we need to click to get to the videos page. To do this, you just right click on the element, inspect, then copy full xpath. Okay, so now we found the video element and clicked on it, and sleep for two seconds to give the page time to load. Now a public method called watch video. This takes a video title and a watch time argument this is going to be the method that we call on our bot to get it to watch a video. First, we're going to run the video page method to take us to the page with all of the videos. Oh, hang on. How's this going to work? We need another method to go to the home page. I'm going to split this up because we want the user to be able to watch multiple videos and it can only find the videos element from the home page so we need to have a separate method that takes us to the home page. Okay, so we've got a bot, then we tell it which video to watch and for how long. It goes to my channel homepage, then clicks on the videos button. I'm thinking I'll make a dictionary with the names of the videos as keys and the X path of the videos as values. That way when we pass the video name, our bot will know which X path to use. So if the video title is the keys of video's X path, that's going to be my dictionary. We go home, then the videos page, then find the corresponding thumbnail element by X path, click and watch for however long.
I'm gonna get started entering this dictionary. This could take some time. A few inches later. All right, I've made a dictionary with the titles and XPaths for four videos. I just wanna try it out before I enter all of the titles and XPaths in case this way isn't gonna work. We'll create a bot called MyBot, then we'll loop through the dictionary watching every video for two seconds. Wow, I've got a couple of errors. Let me just fix these up. I needed to put self as the first argument for the watch video method, and I was using keys incorrectly. It's the name of the dictionary dot keys, not with the name of the dictionary inside the brackets. I also got rid of the if statement inside of watch video, just so it's one less thing to worry about going wrong. Let's run. It's not clicking on the videos button. Oh, I need to move the dictionary inside of watch videos so that it's within the scope when we try to get the value from it. Now, let's watch BOGO sort algorithm visualization because let's be real, what human is going to watch BOGO sort for two and a half hours? Watch video. Ah, it's not working. No such element exception. I can't find the element by xpath. Why am I even doing this by xpath? I can just go directly to the URL of the video page. Okay, it went to the video page, but it's not clicking on the video that we want. Why isn't this working? Oh, hang on. Why am I finding these by XPath and writing a massive dictionary? All of the video's thumbnails have the ID thumbnail. So I can just find element by thumbnail once and get a list of all the thumbnail elements. Then it's just a matter of specifying the index of the thumbnail I want to click on. Okay, we got this. We'll print the thumbnails just to verify that it returns a list of elements. Yep, it's a list. We can work with this. Now we're going to have to pass the video number to our bot instead of the video title, but that's fine. Alright, so this video ID function takes a number for an input and returns the thumbnail element that corresponds to that number. Then we just click and sleep for watch time. So 
video, zero is the most recent video, video one is the second most recent, and so on. Now we can write a loop that iterates through all of the videos in range 23, because I have 23 videos, well, 24 after I upload this. Time to let this thing run and see if it actually watches all my videos. First it should click on BOGO sort, then song downloader, and it'll go through all of them. Awesome, it's going through them as expected. Actually, it doesn't need to go to the channel homepage every time, it could just go back to the videos page. Oh well, this is good enough, I'll fix it up later. Just a disclaimer, if you're going to make something like this to watch your own YouTube videos, you hear stories about people getting their channels shut down or banned for using ViewBots. So if you are going to do it, be careful and don't blame me if you get banned. That said, if you liked the video, leave a like. If you want to see more from me, consider subscribing. See you later.